to the side. Um, we're going live in lots of different places today. I'm going to check it out, make sure we are, in fact, going live here. Um, let's see. Let's go to Facebook. And let's see my page. Make sure I'm going live. Last time it didn't go live, and that was sadness for me. <laughs> so let's see how we're doing. I'm live. This is exciting. Okay, good deal. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this back up here. So hello, everybody out there on Facebook. We're so excited to be with y'all today. If y'all have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments. Um, also, if you are on YouTube, uh, please also just leave comments. We do sometimes chat um, is going, and I can't see chat during the lives. Uh, so I would love it if you would leave me questions or any wonderful comments in the, um, in the comment section. So yes, thank you again for being here. And let's go ahead and talk about how to get started with this. So we're doing a painting tutorial today. I'm gonna to teach you how to paint this from start to finish. So we have awesome paint kits that go with these. Makes it very easy. Um, we sell these on our website, tipsyartist.com. And they come with easy line art to trace and also the transfer paper. I've worked ahead, I did mine. So let's talk about first how to do this. I do have a tutorial just for this part of the process on YouTube, so you can check that out. But what we do is we place this down on the canvas first, the transfer paper, dull side faces up, shiny side faces the canvas. I tape this down just at the top of the canvas first. Then I go ahead and place the line art on top of that, tape that down again, just taping at the top. So the idea is that this is very secure up at the top, but then this is loose here at the bottom so that I can constantly lift up and check my work as I go just to make sure that I get all the line work done. Because trying to go back and line it up if you missed a spot doesn't work very well at all. So you do want to make sure you get every single line completed. And the only way that you can do that is by lifting up to check your work. So you will want to be sure that you can lift and check. And then you can just use a basic pencil to do the trace around here. Um, also, if you do happen to have at home, I don't supply this in the kit, but if you do have a, a pen that has a different color, like a red pen, that helps you see it. But again, pencil works just fine. So that's what this looks like. So this is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side since I'm done with mine. And this is what it will look like. All right, so it's all set up, ready to go. And then with your uh, painting kit, we do have, let me give you a little visual here, we've got a really nice paint set that comes with it. And then we've got all of your brushes that are needed, and then pencil and even a Sharpie. So I'm not using the Sharpie today, but you can use it if you would like. Actually, you know what, let's just go ahead and use it just for fun. I'll show you. So this looks like um, just pencil work to begin with, but I am gonna give a little visual here on the Sharpie. So you might say, why would you wanna do a Sharpie? Well, the cool thing about the Sharpie is it helps you keep all of your trace in place where it will bleed through the paint. So that can be very helpful for beginners. It's also a nice little help with like lettering. I don't have any lettering in this one today, but it can be very helpful. Got my wire coming down here. Hmm. All right.
So I hope y'all are having a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day here in our studio. We're in Guthrie, Oklahoma. And it's been a fantastic week. We ha we've actually had Life Church here with a songwriting retreat all week long, and it's been quite extraordinary to hear all of their beautiful new music that's being made. I loved it. It was really inspiring. It's wrote on my uh, candle. <laughs> it's wax, and it's scraped that right off. And I've got these straight lines happening in the back. That is to represent shiplap happening in our design. So I happen to have a ruler nearby. If you don't have a ruler, you can also use the box as a straight edge. This comes with your kit. So that also works. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this to go ahead and do my line work with. It just makes it a lot easier. But I will say it's nice to have the shiplap done with that dark line so you can do the paint over it. It will bleed through and then you can follow up at the very end as well. But it will bleed through. That's what makes it nice. What else has been going on in Guthrie? We have the Reagan movie filming here this month again. Or few months. Let me move this. Make sure that's stable. All right, there we go. And then it is my daughter's birthday today. It's very exciting. She is turning 22 today. It's kind of hard to believe. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. And I asked her, I said, what are your plans for your lovely 22nd birthday? She has all of her very best friends going out with her tonight for dinner. I said, oh, where are y'all going? She said, Applebee's. And I said, oh, <laughs> why Applebee's? And she said, cheap drinks. And I said, that makes sense. And then I thought of the Talladega Nights quote. What do you say we go get kicked out of an Applebee's tonight? All right, I'm gonna finish this out. So happy 22nd birthday to you, London. I love you very much. I'm such a proud mommy. Sweet little butterflies. Then. This one is so tiny, I need to be really careful to go around the shape. Alright, so this gives us a great start. Again, this is a good little tip. It's optional, but it's very helpful uh, for beginners. So it really keeps that trace in place. It'll even bleed through the paint, which is nice. All right, so now, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and start to work on all of our shiplap in the background. We're gonna start with that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start with, I call this my mama brush. We have our little family of brushes here. Let's introduce them to y'all. All right, so we have our mama brush. This is a half inch flat tack on brush. Then we have our little buddy brush, little quarter inch flat tack on brush. And then also our liner brush here. I call this little bit. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of water here. Lot that on the rag nearby. And then I've got some titanium white paint. We'll start with that. I went ahead and squirted some out of my palette earlier. So there's my titanium white. And then I will also be using some Viridian. So I had that there earlier. I'm going to go ahead and place just um, about a dime sized dollop of that. And then let's also use the primary cyan blue. Let's do a little bit of that here. Again, about a dime size amount of that. All right, so again, here is my mama brush. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a nice big dollop of the titanium white. Let's do a little touch of the viridian and then a little touch of the primary cyan blue. And let's mix all that together. This is going to give us a really pretty turquoise color. And I want it to have a little bit more viridian because that'll give it more of like a teal quality. And let's add a lot more white because I want to go for a lighter, almost like a sea foam color. And that's getting more to the look that I want. And then we're going to go ahead and place that on the canvas. And do a little bit of water into the mix to help that spread out smoothly and fill into all the surface area. The canvas can be very porous, so that'll help spread it out and flow into that canvas. You can also touch into the titanium white as you go too and work that into the pattern and do little touches of that as it comes down into like a vertical stroke. Touch it into a little bit of water here to come back in and clean up those petals a little bit. And then as I work in around the petals, I can kind of shift how I hold the brush to where you can hold it more like a pencil to where you get that nice thin line edge. And then when you work back into a larger area, then of course you can turn it more over to the flat side of the brush. Now as I come in over my butterflies, those are smaller shapes, I'm going to go ahead and just do an overpaint right over the top because we did those with the permanent marker to begin with. They will bleed through, the design will bleed through, so we can come back in and paint in different colors over the surface area at a later step in the process. I am being a little bit more careful to avoid the space in the petals just because we are coming back in with a white and a gray, and so I just want to keep those petals a little bit cleaner. Forget about that white. I do little tiny touches here and there and just kind of pull that down over the surface area. So again, the mix on this beautiful turquoise color is 
titanium white, primary cyan blue, and viridian. And I am using acrylic paint today. It comes with our painting kit. And you can find everything you need on our website, tipsyartist.com. By the way, we are also doing this same painting as a class this Saturday. in our studio in Guthrie, Oklahoma. And we have a few little spaces we need to remember to get because they come in between the petals. So don't forget about those. Now let's work back in with a little bit of the white. So as I hold the brush, let's talk about this a little bit. So I've got some of that white paint and I'm going to go ahead and try to hold the brush a little bit more over to the side parallel to the canvas and just lightly drag that over the surface area. So this will give that look of like uh, weathered wood happening. So that is looking quite beautiful. it in here too. Again, if we have a little bit of overpaint over the top here, it's not a big deal. And then I can also come back in. If you're feeling like some of it's a bit too dark, take just pure water on your smaller little buddy brush and then you can just lift that right off. You want an absolute lift. I'm just doing a little bit of a softening of it, but you can actually lift it completely off by just dabbing on pure water onto a surface area, and then you can take a napkin, and you can actually just push down like that, and that will lift off too. Another little trick in terms of lifting off. If you make a little I say there are no mistakes, only possibilities, but if you have a little possibility, as we say, you can do a little lift off that way. All right, now we're gonna clean off the mama brush. Let's talk about that a little bit here too. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take our brush, place it into the water, spin it round and round and round. A little bit of firm pressure that helps release that paint. Let's check until the water is clear and the brush is clear. Alright, beautiful. Okay, so we can actually start to work on our lovely flower now. to go ahead and do the petals next. So we'll be using our titanium white and just a teeny amount of some Mars black. and continue on with our mama brush half inch flat tacklon brush and let's go ahead and take a nice big dollop of white over here to the side let's do a little tiny touch of the Mars black super tiny amount there let's work that in we're just gonna make a really light soft gray color 
So we want to work with that. We're, we're going to be working between the white and the gray. So I've got that mixed up. And scrape that off the brush there. Now let's go ahead and pull into the pure white. Go back to that. And we're going to work into each petal here, which is pure white. And then we'll be able to touch into the gray as well to be able to accentuate the outer sides of the petal. So now let's touch into the gray. Let's go ahead and do the outer sides of the petal with that little touch of gray. Again, it's a mix of going back and forth between the titanium white in a pure state and then a little bit of that soft gray to add an accent to each petal and also separate out the petals too. Create a little bit of a shadow to help separate them. Lots of pure white. I'm going to take a curve here. Let's come back in and feather that out right over the top, holding that brush a little bit more over to the side, parallel to the canvas. Do a little bit more of that gray mix in there. Using that line edge of the brush. I'm going to go ahead and rinse out just a touch, go back into the pure white now. And those beautiful white petals with a little bit of gray accent over the top. There's little tiny lines, little vertical lines that happen on the petals. So we use that gray as almost an accent for that, and then also shadows in between the petals. And hello again to everybody out there joining us today. Thank you so much for being with us today. You are able to paint this at home with our painting kit, or you can come paint with me this Saturday, too.
doing this same penny this Saturday. switch to a little bit of a smaller brush here to continue on with this flower so same set of colors here with our titanium white and then that light gray that we mixed up with the Mars black and the titanium white will make little shadows and then also just a hint of that strided line work that comes through the petals So I just did a nice overpaint of all that white right over the top. Make sure it flows into each petal. We've got nice good coverage there. And then I'll start to work in with the gray. But these are more delicate petals, smaller shapes. So we need to come in with a smaller brush. I'm going to set this off to the side here. And I'm going to go ahead and use my little bit brush. And we're going to use some of that white with just a touch of the Mars Black. And now to get a nice fine point, I'm gonna do a little twist here into the paint. So I kind of just twist the head of the brush into the paint. That loads it up, but it also twists it into a nice fine point. This will help me line out those petals. Create a little bit of a shadow in between all of them. And you're getting a nice soft blend in with the white that's already there since the white paint underneath is still a little bit wet. It's a nice soft mix between the two.
I'm picking with just a little bit more of a touch of that turquoise. here. Softening a few spots. There we go. That looks good. All right, now we need to do a beautiful, bright, vibrant yellow in the center with a touch of orange. So we'll be using cadmium yellow. Here is our cadmium orange. And then also some primary yellow. Let's go back to using our mama brush. I'm going to start with that cadmium yellow, a little touch of the primary yellow. So again, cadmium yellow with our primary yellow. We're just going to place that in the center here, get nice good coverage right over the top. Let's add just a touch of white in there too, that'll give some good coverage. Now let's smooth that out, feather it out, using the flat side of the brush, holding it more parallel to the canvas. It's nice and bright. Now let's add a touch more of the cadmium orange and smooth that into the center here. Blend this back out with more of that primary yellow. And a little bit more white. Grab a little bit more of our primary yellow. Pull that around the outer part of the circle on the inside. that in little tiny cross strokes back and forth in the center. All right, really pretty. We're going to do the same thing now to the other side. A smaller flower here. Again, that is our cadmium yellow, cadmium orange, and primary yellow. Right, very lovely. Let's drag that excess off. Let's go ahead and rinse out. Now we're going to be working in our little butterflies. Same color in here now as a base. I'm going to go ahead and push right into that same color. This is my little bit brush.
And let's get a little bit more coverage right over the top, loading the brush one more time, and then holding that brush gently over to the side, which will give you a light, gentle hand. It allows more paint to actually rest right on the surface and stay right over the top of those shapes. Now we're going to come in with our accent over the top of those beautiful butterflies. So we're going to be pulling in some primary magenta. Small little dime sized dollop of, dollop of that. And then let's take our little bit brush again, go right into that primary magenta. And we're going to make the center of the butterfly. And then little circles here. Or not really circles actually, more of like an oval shape. But basically you can make this by doing a little parentheses and a little parentheses and then connect. And then there's that little shape. Parentheses, parentheses, connect. And there's that little shape. There's that little pattern on our cute little butterfly here. And on this little guy, it's just almost like a little touch with the brush, and that's all that's needed for that little pattern. And then one little line right through the center. Sweet little butterflies. Uh, now we need to do some reinforcing with the ship lap so that becomes a little bit more discernible in the background. We do see it peeking through with the line work that we did in the very beginning and the permanent marker, so that's very encouraging. Alright, so I'm going to use my mama brush again and the thin line edge. See how that's very thin again, nice and clean and then do a hard press on your towel or paper towels there to smooth that back out. And we want this turquoise to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to do a bit more of that primary cyan blue into the mix. Let's grab a little bit of water so it thins it out, makes it easier to move still nice and thin, but this will definitely be a lot darker over the surface area. We can just follow along here and see how that makes a darker line. That was just more primary cyan blue pushed into the turquoise. So I just follow along here with that line that we already see. And then, that ideally should be it. If you want, you can do a few more light drags of the darker shades too, if you want. And by that, so I dried off the brush. I got the moisture out. I'm gonna touch back into that darker blue again. Just barely touch into it. And you can kinda just barely drag little bits of that into the background if you want a bit more of that distress look happening in the back. Start up here at the very tip top and do a light pull 
with that darker uh, primary cyan blue in there mixed with the turquoise see it just makes it look like it's a little bit more of that old weathered wood happening through the background you can also do the same thing with little touches of white too barely touch into the white and just kind of add little touches of it now you want to be careful of your butterflies since they're still wet and you don't want to interrupt those at all but you can do little touches of this through there too this is that white so there's always a little bit of extra play that you can do in there with that or you can just leave it alone too you might feel like nope i'm good i'm done So I'm going to go back in with my little bit brush and a little bit of the gray and just do one more, let's see here, with the gray and just make sure that I've got it in all the right spaces that I want it. And pushing back in with a little bit more white, softly blend into the additional gray that I've added into. All right. 
So we have a beautiful, bright painting that we've just created. This is perfect for beginners. Really lovely. And we make it very easy for you by providing all the line art and the painting kit that comes with all of your supplies that you need to go ahead and finish this. So yes, everything you need is on our website, tipsyartist.com. So in this video, will also stay up forever, so you can always go back and look at it and uh, rewind as needed or just whatever you need to go back and finish it up. So we want to thank you again for joining us today. This has been super fun. And I will be coming back again to also teach a family tree with birds here in just a few minutes. So we'd love to see you again for that. So y'all have a beautiful Thursday. And I want to say happy birthday again to my lovely daughter, London. Happy birthday. I love you so very, very much. And just wishing everybody a beautiful day today. And I will see y'all soon. Toodles.